Here we have another one. We want to estimate the area underneath this curve. Here's the original graph. This time we're working between 0 and 5. And again, they're telling us to use rectangles of width 1. So the problem in this section, they're going to tell you how many rectangles, and they're also going to tell you the width. And so you pay close attention to the instructions because sometimes they'll actually tell you how many rectangles to actually use. In this case, if they said that your interval is between 0 and 5 and they want you to use 5 rectangles, that would also tell you that the width is going to have to be uh, 1, but they might tell you that you might have less triangles. Like for instance, let's say the you're going between 0 and 5 and they want you to find 3 rectangles, well then you would split this up into 3 different regions there and you're working with fractions. But in this case, it tells us to use rectangles with 1, so we know that we're going to use uh, 5 of them because we're going between 0 and 5. Okay, so here's the original one. First we need to draw in the rectangles for the lower sum and then we're going to do the math on that to figure out what the lower bound is for the area. The rectangles have to all fit underneath the curve. So right here, here's the first one. Starts at zero but the height is going to be, has to be underneath the graph itself. Then here's the next one. This one's right here. And then we have this one, then we have this one, and then finally the very last one we have on the end there. So we have one, two, three, four, we have five different rectangles squeezed in there. We're going to estimate the heights of each of these and we're going to write this out for lower sums. This first height here, uh, it's going to be exactly two with a width of one. So again, you're going to doing length times width to find the area of that first rectangle. Next. This height here is going to be 1, so height of 1 and a width of 1. Now the next one, this is where we have to start doing a little estimation here. I want to look, find a kind of a fractional height. That looks like it's about 2 thirds, so I'm going to do 2 thirds times 1. Then next, this one, uh, that looks like it's about halfway, so I'm going to do 1 half times 1. And then down here, finally, that one looks like it's going to be one third. Now the one that you'll be doing, uh, if you're doing this online with homework, the graphs are going to be a lot better and you can zoom them in and so you can get a better, better accuracy here. My drawing is not that accurate, but uh, the one you'll have will be accurate enough for you to find the area. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add all this together. Okay, so two plus one, a two thirds and a one thirds adds up to one also. So that's going to be four and then four and a half. So you can either write your the answer as 4.5 or I'll do the fraction form. It's going to be 9 halves. Okay, so 9 halves is the area by using lower sums. Now let's do the same problem again with upper sums. This time rectangles are falling on the outside. So this one, when you draw this rectangle, it's, it's going to go all the way up to 5. So that one's going to go outside of your, or above your curve. Here's the next one. Next one looks like this. Next one goes like that. We're basically just looking at where this line intersects the curve and that determines our height for the next one is what we're doing there. Okay, so this one's going to go across like this. Then we have the last one going across uh, like that. So this would be your upper sums. All the rectangles are falling above the curve. Now let's do the estimation on this. I have a height of 5 this time with a width of 1. This one has a height of 2 and a width of 1. Next one has a height of 1, width of 1. And then this is where we start getting into the fractional ones. This height right here, 2 thirds, right there. And then this last one over here is going to be a height of 1 half. So 1 half times 1. Okay, so again, you should always have five rectangles for each one. We did five for that. We have five rectangles for this. So you have five calculations here so you know uh, that you uh, did the correct number. Okay. Now we're going to add all this together. So five plus two plus one, that's eight. Eight plus two thirds plus one half. If you add all that together, you should get 55 sixths. So now we know that our true area is going to have to be between 9 halves and 55 over 6.